In 1867, St. Francis de Sales Church grew out of the spiritual needs of a burgeoning German immigrant community in St. Louis. Seven German dairymen purchased a tract of land on which to build the new church. With the laying of the first cornerstone on September 15, 1867, St. Francis de Sales began to serve as a spiritual and social anchor for these immigrants in their new homeland. Over the next 40 years, a generation of hopeful new Americans continued to build this church. They first added a school, then a convent, then started to plan the next phase, a grand church as an expression of their Catholic faith. By the 1890s, St. Louis had become the fourth largest city in the United States, after New York City, Philadelphia, and Chicago, and a generation of German and Irish immigrants had set down their roots. Amidst the post-Civil War economic expansion, bustling St. Louis was the proud owner of a new transportation infrastructure and one of the world's first skyscrapers, the 10-story Wainwright Building in downtown St. Louis. It was against this backdrop that the parishioners of St. Francis de Sales planned to build a new, larger church to accommodate the burgeoning membership. Secure in their new country, and filled with hope for the future, what kind of church would they build for themselves and for future generations? Led by pastor Father Lotz, the largely German congregation looked to their ancestral heritage for a set of architectural plans. The cathedral-like church is a story of a growing melting pot America. In the new country, and in a city named after a benevolent king of France, a German-American congregation built a Gothic revival church under the patronage of a French saint. The imported German architectural design by Engelbert Seibetz was modified by an immigrant, Victor Cluto, originally from Alsace-Lorraine. The superb craftsmanship of the ornate Reredos at the main altar was the work of another German immigrant, Egit Hackner of La Crosse, Wisconsin. Stained glass windows were designed and crafted by a fine artisan, Emil Frey, originally from Bavaria. The interior of the church was filled with emblems of the old country and the saints venerated by their ancestors. This immense church was built to last. The new St. Francis de Sales Church symbolized the hopes and dreams of the immigrants, deeply rooted in the traditions and heritage of their forefathers. It was a brick and mortar symbol of American values of the time, faith of the immigrants, beauty and grandeur in the midst of hard work and sacrifice, venerable traditions in a new land, and stalwart hope for the future. Since its dedication in 1908, the fate of St. Francis de Sales Church closely dovetailed that of the city in which it was conceived. The population of St. Louis peaked in 1950 and had steadily declined ever since, bringing many changes to the neighborhoods of St. Louis. The latter part of the 20th century saw many urban renewal projects to counteract these effects, such as the construction of the St. Louis Arch and the gentrification of the Washington Avenue Historic District. St. Francis de Sales flourished when the city flourished and declined when the city declined. By the end of the 20th century, shifting demographics and suburbanization in South St. Louis left this majestic church nearly empty and its condition reduced to a shadow of its former grandeur. As the 100th anniversary of its dedication approached, this majestic church faced obsolescence. By 1974, the parish dissipated to the point that the St. Francis de Sales High School was forced to close for good. With decades of dwindling support, the condition of St. Francis de Sales Church, and indeed the entire campus, deteriorated visibly and rapidly. In January 2005, the Institute of Christ the King Sovereign Priest was invited to become a part of the great Catholic tradition of St. Louis, first serving the Roman Rite of 1962 at St. Agatha Parish, then at St. Francis de Sales. In July 2005, the church building and campus of St. Francis de Sales were entrusted to the care of the Institute to maintain and to administer the sacraments according to the 1962 Roman Missal. As an oratory of the Institute of Christ the King Sovereign Priest, it would serve the entire Archdiocese of St. Louis and would be the center of the extraordinary form of the Roman Rite. Sunday and daily Masses were offered in the extraordinary form, as were all the sacraments various venerable Catholic devotions were rekindled. St. Francis de Sales' centennial celebration in 2008, the Kirchweifest, was attended by people from all walks of life, from families just starting to raise children to the empty nesters and everyone in between. 
Two consecutive annual surveys from 2010 to 2011 revealed that the new congregation of St. Francis de Sales has a median age of less than 30 years old, including many young families with children. The church building may be old, but the youthful families it attracts are as vigorous as ever. Records show that on the day St. Francis de Sales Church held its first service in 1867, three babies were baptized. After building the church, a school was the first building the 1867 congregation erected. Clearly the education and the nurturing of children have been an important priority since the founding of this church, and they still are. St. Francis de Sales's former school building and gymnasiums are ideal for our partnership with KIPP Academy, which serves many young students of St. Louis. In addition, St. Francis de Sales Oratory has sponsored an annual summertime children's choir camp consecutively since 2010. School year children's choirs, drama clubs, catechism classes, and youth clubs, all of which have been successful and popular venues for the children's formation. To walk into St. Francis de Sales is to be surrounded by many tangible forms of beauty, in the brilliantly colored stained glass, in the stately architecture, and in the abundance of old world, expertly crafted church furnishings. On Sundays and feast days, the glowing liturgy at the ornate high altar is always accompanied by inspirational sacred music performed by trained choirs composed of many adults and children members of the oratory community. In April 2017, St. Francis de Sales Oratory was voted the most beautiful church in America in an online contest, Church Madness 2017, conducted by the blog Art and Liturgy. An impressive selection of churches was chosen from four regions of the United States, and the contest spanned a period of several weeks, as the brackets narrowed from 64 down to the two finalists, St. Francis de Sales Oratory in St. Louis, and a recently renovated St. James Church of the Archdiocese of Louisville, Kentucky. In an exciting head-to-head -head finale, St. Francis de Sales edged out a win with 51.75% of the vote. It is worthy of mention that St. Stanislaus Oratory in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a sister church within the Institute family of apostolate, was also in this year's context. Congratulations to them, too. The online format of the contest allowed readers and viewers from all over the country, and indeed from the world, to become acquainted with many diverse and beautiful churches in America, and we hope with our beloved oratory. Perhaps the most endearing aspect of this exercise was the sustained enthusiasm with which supporters of the oratory and friends of the Institute rallied other supporters to participate in the contest and ultimately to choose the oratory as the most beautiful church in America. To all our friends and supporters, we give our warm and grateful thanks, and especially to Mr. Patrick Murray, the blog author of artandliturgy.com, for his ingenious platform to showcase the beauty of the Catholic Church. Thank you.